Sympathy for Data is a free framework for building visual representations of your data analytics task. We call those representations flows. This is an example of a sympathy flow. Flows are fully runnable and they are built by connecting nodes. These are nodes. Nodes can be configured to operate on data and have different behaviors. You can configure a node by right-clicking on it and then clicking configure. Then a configuration panel will open for you and you can select the options for your nodes. You can click OK to save the options or cancel if you perhaps made something that you're not entirely sure that you want to keep. Once the flow is built, you can run it as many times as you like. You can share it with your colleagues, reconfigure it, easily change input data or build new flows upon it. A flow usually involves three parts, a part for importing data, a part for processing data, and a part for exporting data. For importing data, you need to set and configure a data source in order to tell Sympathy where to find your files. We can do this by right-clicking the data source node and then clicking on configure. We can toggle between a relative path with respect to where the flow is located and an absolute path. And we can also uh, write a search pattern of the files that we are interested in importing. For instance, I know that for this example I only want to have uh, files that begin with beta and that are in CSV format. If we allowed every older file in this folder to be imported, well, we may not have whatever we're interested in too. So it's pretty neat that you can select things in that way. We click OK and we continue. Then you need to select a suitable importer for the kind of format that your data is stored into. We accomplish this by right-clicking in the importer and clicking on configure and selecting some parameters in our configuration menu. Our input files are CSV files, so we want to use the CSV importer. We can select which row will be the header, which row will be the unit, which row would have descriptions of what the column is about. We can select uh, from where the data begins and we can select onto which point do we want the importer to read the file. And then once we're satisfied with our input, we simply click OK and we continue. If we only want to run Sympathy up to the point of importing data, we can simply double click on the node up until which we want to run and we can examine what we have in that part by double clicking in the port. In this case we have two files, file 0 and file 1 and the name of the table corresponds to the name of the input file and we see that those files, each one of them has three variables that are here represented as columns. Now we can do some processing on our input data. You can select a number of modules uh, from this uh, big set of nodes that the Sympathy library has. And uh, in this example, we will only use four nodes for processing, which are this one's selected here. We will first use a node for selecting which variables to use. We will use a node for renaming the variables that we selected. We will use a node for filtering the contents of the variables. In this case, this one removes uh, 
either columns or rows that contains meta numbers. We can fully configure that. And we will have a node for building figures from the data that we just processed. For this particular example, we want to be able to only uh, work with one variable. It's possible to either select that variable and click OK, or it's also possible to say, remove the variables that we have selected here. We can run it up to this point and we can see that the output of that node contains just one variable for all of the input files that we're working with. We can choose to rename that variable and we can use regular expressions in order to be able to rename it. In this case, I wanted to take everything from that single variable and rename it as my variable because it will make my life easier when I go and work and build a figure. Also, we wanted to remove any, not a num any rows with not a numbers, but we could also remove columns with not a numbers. And then I went on and uh, built a couple of lines in here. I built one line that will contain a histogram of that input data that I have renamed as my variable. And uh, I have also, of course, plotted the data. The nice thing about this figures node of sympathy is that you can enter Python code in it. And uh, that gives you enormous flexibility in a very simple way. So the output from my figure is a plot of my input data. So I have this histogram line, which is one of the lines we had there. We have the data and uh, it's for both input files. I could go back and select another variable. Suppose I wanted to select uh, this older variable instead. Click OK. Know that it will be renamed in the same way that this node would accept. So I just run it up to this point. And when I click here to look at the output, then I get a well configured uh, label here with the units from the input file and with the description of my data and the other line of the histogram without changing so much as a tick box in this point. Now, if we're happy with our figures the way they are, we can export them using the export figures node, which we can configure just like any other sympathy node. We can select a naming, we can select an output directory, we can select a format, and we can select a size for our image. And we can double click here. And uh, we can see here in the output of the node that it will be named for file zero, figures zero, and for file one, figures one. And we know it will be on the same path of the sympathy node, which I have uh, over here written pretty much just now. And this is our figure for zero and for one. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, screen capture and uh, please uh, contact us if you are interested in knowing more.